Hey, Justin from Gold Penguin here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to properly structure certain things on your pages if you're having trouble with sections, divs, columns, anything like that. Um, this video is actually inspired by a video that Lewis, the CEO of Breakdance, did on Loom, made a little Loom video on the Facebook page, but uh, I don't really know how accessible that is to everyone, so I kind of wanted to copy and show off some of the things that he did uh, in a different way and show how to make this a lot better. So let's just say you had a background, you had some, some text over here, it actually looks pretty terrible right now. Um, you have a fancy divider, a heading, a dual heading, and then you have these two buttons inside of their own columns. And so what this is gonna look like on mobile is kinda gonna look like this, whatever. Um, but yeah, so let's fix this. So there's a few things that we're gonna do. I'm gonna copy this and paste it too, so we have one on the bottom, and we're gonna go and start with this. So first of all, I'm gonna make the section height, which is in just the layout. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna turn that into a viewport. Actually, do not listen to me, Justin from the future here. Don't change this setting yet. I will explain later in the video. And then we're gonna see this, your marketing partner. This is fine, it's in a section. We have this heading here, but to add the second line, we added a space in here. And like that's that's not really good because it's not good for designing. You don't want to uh, hard code you know, different things like this. So um, what you'll do is type everything that you want to show on your page here and go into the styling and go into size and then set this width to something like 500 or 600. Um, yeah, we could, we'll go with, let's see, 550, whatever. Uh, we'll keep it like this. So this is going to make a hard stop at this width where uh, no matter what page size you're on, you know, it's going to look like this or like this. So it's a lot better, uh, more responsive, and that's kind of what we're aiming for. So yeah, um, the dual heading, same thing, but we are going to add some padding to it. So margin basically adds in between the actual element and then padding is what's going to be inside of here. So if you want to go outside, do margin. If you want to do padding, um, if you want to do inside, do padding. A good way to think of that is like if you are riding a scooter and you have like knee pads on, the padding is to protect like you you on the inside. But um, margin is going to be, uh, I don't know if you were wearing like a, or, or if something connected you to the outside. I'm not really sure if that made sense. But padding is for like the individual thing. Margin is in between that to something else. So we're going to add a 20 pixel margin. If I were to add padding to this, it would effectively do the same thing, except we'd see the padding on this side go inside. But depending on your need, um, that's going to change. So I guess the last thing that I'm going to talk about is these columns are kind of ugly and you also don't need to do columns like this. So the way that we'll do this is I'm going to add a div to the page and I will move that over here and I'm going to move these buttons into the div. And so the first thing you're going to notice is they're stacked on top of each other, pretty ugly and kind of hard to navigate. So what we'll do with the button, or oops, not the button, the div, is we're going to go to the layout and click on horizontal and we're going to align this center. So these things are now horizontally aligned. We are going to vertically align it. Um, yep, just like this. And another thing you might be asking is, okay, well, how do we get this centered on the page? So we could just center the section just like this, but that's actually pretty ugly. And if we want to go do something more like this, okay, so we're going to go to div and we're going to go to container. Container is basically the container of the div. Think of it as like a bucket, you know, what's inside of it. Um, and I'm going to change width to 100%. And so this is going to stretch it out onto the page to go all the way across um, whatever the, the parent element is, which in this case is the section. And since the section takes up the entire width of the page, obviously 100% of that is the whole page. Um, this is still kind of ugly. You might be like, hey, you know, there's no spacing here. And then we want to add some, some margin to the top of this. So I'm going to go to where is, oops, spacing is over here. And we can add like 40 pixels of padding. But now what about this gap in between? Well, the good news is we have a beautiful setting over here called gap. You can do 40, 20, 30, whatever you want to do, um, do this. We can clean this page up a little bit by maybe we want to change the typography of this. I don't really like the weight. It's actually pretty, ooh, that's kind of cool, but that's for the second thing. Um, so we could do something like this and then change the primary typography to be a little bit smaller. How does that work? Yeah. Um, still not the, the prettiest, but yeah. And then we can go ahead and make these buttons a little bit bigger by changing the size of them to, okay, large is, is pretty interesting actually. If we change it to custom, then we can just change the font size of this in typography. Um, let's change this to two rem. It's pretty big. Uh, there's definitely some settings I would change if I was really making a website, but 
font size to rem. And so now you have your page like this. Um, I would prefer to have this on two separate lines too. So I'm also going to add a 550. If you wanted it to be a little bit longer, we could do that too. Um, and then I actually don't think that these, this looks good on in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and left justify. Oops, am I doing this right? I'm going to... I'm going to get rid of the width, actually, because we'll just have these dynamically stretched to where they need to be on the page. And if you wanted to, you can add a picture here, which what um, if we wanted to take all of this and add an image here, we would just take this, add a div. You could add a column for this. This I could see necessary as having a column, um, maybe something bigger on the left and on the right. And so we're going to move this up here and basically uh, move all of these in one by one. And it should keep the same settings. And then over here, we will add an image and go ahead and put the image that you want. Uh, I've got some very interesting images, stock images here. We can use this picture. Um, there you go. So now that you have this, uh, if you wanted to do something even cooler, what we could do is take these call or take the section and vertically align it. I don't like this, but if you want to align everything into the middle of your page and kind of have it going um, middle out up and down instead of kind of just oops instead of just uh, from the top and then down uh, that's what you would do so on the phone this is what your website is going to look like we do have some extra padding here from the section which we can go ahead and change on the desktop it actually looks good on the desktop looks good on tablet um, so on, on the phone I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller just by going into spacing Actually, it shouldn't be in spacing. It should be, oh, maybe this will work if we do, yep, zero. So I believe this is set at 75 as the default. Go ahead and change it to whatever you want. Maybe even 50 looks a little bit better. And yeah, there you go. So this is what your page is gonna look like. Again, you can scale everything in here. Um, for example, if you wanna change the heading, I would not change the width because width is only gonna be left to right, but I would go into typography and then adjust the size as needed. Make this maybe two rem. Um, yeah, go ahead and play with this however you want. It's really gonna be up to you, however you wanna do things. Uh, it will take a while to get right, but I did wanna mention for the section, um, I actually did mess something up in the beginning of the tutorial. So if we set this equal to the viewport, we are gonna hit some problems later. So change it back to fit content so that it does fit what this is. I believe there is a way that you can add a minimum. Is there a minimum? Yeah, you, you can go ahead and, and mess around with this at one point where uh, minimum height we could say is gonna be 100. Um, but that also might, oh yeah, that, that looks like it actually fixed it. So if we do that as opposed to, um, yep, so if we set a custom height equal to 100 vertical height as minimum instead of the, the complete um, explicit height, then this is going to say we need this to at least be equal to what your screen is. If your screen is bigger, go ahead and expand it, no problem, but at least be equal to 100 units of whatever the user's screen is. Um, before, we were having an issue because it was set to... Uh, fit con not fit content, I'm sorry, viewport, which was saying we're going to make this equal to the size of the phone. But then when we get down here, we see that this picture is actually dragging under here and not working like that. So I apologize on my part, but definitely set this to custom if you want to follow the same strategy. I know some people just want the section to kind of encompass, you know, the content itself. And then once that is done, you can go ahead and have your content under here, which also looks great. So it really just depends on what you want to do. Um, but again, this is the mobile mobile responsive and proper way to do this. You don't really need columns when you're designing in breakdance unless you kind of want to do something like this. But um, I, I mean, I'd say generally more you don't need a bunch of unnecessary divs and, and nested things inside of everything. Um, this kind of keeps it pretty, pretty simple. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I hope this cleared things up for a lot of people. Um, and let me know if you have any other tutorial ideas. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed.